Uh, today we are going to talk about making 3D sculptures. Um, we are making three-dimensional houses. So 3D means it's something you can feel and touch from all sides. So my little light here, it's three-dimensional. It has a top and a bottom and a front and a back. Um, anything three-dimensional, you can feel from all sides. You have a top, you have a bottom, you got a front and you got a back. So that's 3D. Two-dimensional is like a piece of paper. Um, it is flat. Okay. Now, if I were to take this piece of paper and crumble it up, my, my paper is now three-dimensional because it has sides. It's no longer flat. So 2D is flat. That's how we normally make art. And 3D it, uh, has many sides. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making houses. This house, you can see I have a roof. Um, I've got my sign. You can make buildings also. So I really thought about buildings versus houses. Like what could we find in North Canton in our community? This says hair 101. So I made, I made it up. I thought about a um, local business. What would I find in North Canton? Well, probably a place to get my hair done. I even added a little 3D door so the door can open and close. And we're going to glue it to a piece of cardboard at the bottom. This is called your base. Okay, your base is what you're going to glue it to. So here's another one. Now this one is large. Yours is not going to be this big. This is a house. But the reason I made it so big was so you could see some of your options. This house, um, you can see it's three-dimensional. It's glued to a base. And you're going to be able to decorate around your house as well. Like this one, I made a little, um, I don't know what these are called. Like they grow flowers around like vines. Um, I put some little bushes down here with beads glued to it. I made some three, three dimensional flowers. I use dried beans to make rocks for my driveway. So if you'd like to add rocks, we've got beans. Um, and I decorated my, my base as well. So these are things you're going to need to think about. We're going to, um, you're going to find these papers on your desk. You've got little examples that tell you how we're going to do it, how we're going to make our building. Here it says, draw it flat, decorate in color, add details, use glue to glue to the base. Um, I will help you fill it up and close your top. And then um, down here at the bottom, it says base, uh, use cardboard, paint or color or collage. So we're going to talk about the steps, how to do that. And then there's another example um, that you can actually see, you know, how, whoops, how to create these there. We're going to color and draw flat. Here's another example. Look, they even added like little 3d things like car and the little Lego guy. Okay. So, um, I'm going to show you how to start right now. So in a second, you're going to get a cardboard bag, bag a, car, a, a paper bag. What am I saying? There's a front side that's totally, totally, totally flat. And then there's a the back side where there's a little bit of writing and then there's like a little flap. This is the side we're going to put our name on. So I'm going to zoom you down here. And we're going to put our name on the back side. And I would like you to use something dark from your marker bin. Um, don't use a yellow marker. It can be a Sharpie if you already have one out. I don't care if it's a blue marker, a red marker, a green marker. We just need to get our name on it in our class. So you're going to write your class also. Then we're going to flip it over and on the front, I want you to think about what kind of business you want to make. Are you making a, um, a salon? Are you making a, a donut shop? Are you making a grocery store? Um, we're going to make a roof at the top. So all you're going to do for a roof, really simple. We're going to start by drawing a line for the roof. I'm using a pencil to draw. You're going to use a pencil to draw. So this is going to be my roof. So what's my roof going to look like? Is my roof going to have fancy shingles? Or is my roof going to have, you know, like regular shingles on a house? Um, so all I'm going to do is draw the details for what my roof looks like. So I'm going to use my pencil and draw them on. I'm just going to draw regular bricks. 
bricks, you just draw a little line. See if you can really see that there. And then I just draw vertical lines. Do -do, do -do, do -do. Okay, now I'm going to think, what do I want the front of my building to look like? I think I am going to do a donut shop. That sounds pretty interesting to me. So I want a door down at the bottom, any kind of doors that you want. So I think I'm going to make a double door with windows, little handles. And then I think I want like a window for people to see in and see my donuts. And maybe at the top here, I'm going to have my sign for my donut shop. Maybe I'll name my donut shop. What should I name my donut shop? How about Mary Ann's? It's an actual donut place in North Canton. Mary Ann's Donuts. Maybe I put a little donut on my um, sign. And then down here, maybe I've got like a giant... It could be a window, it could be a display, it could be more of a banner, like 15% off, whatever you want to make. I think I'm going to make this like a big sign covered in donuts, right? So maybe my donuts are overlapping. I don't know. I'm making it up as I go. And yours can be anything you want. Maybe you want to make a tire shop. Maybe you want to make a car wash. Maybe you want to make, um, what else could we find in North Canton? Oh, a, vet, a vet's office, a veterinary clinic. Um, so here's my, I'm going to hold this up for you. Here's my basic store. Then I'm going to color this. First thing we know um, is we need to trace with Sharpie. So every single line here, I'm going to trace with Sharpie. I'm just going to do a few for you so you can see. Do, 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 do. Beep, boop. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Okay, you're going to trace every single line. Then you're going to decide how you want to color it. Um, I do know that Quick Sticks work super awesome on this. So if you want to have, I don't know, something unusual like blue shingles, uh, here's my blue shingles. Quick Sticks work super well on these paper bags. Maybe I'm going to do a shingle pattern where they're all a little bit different. So maybe I'm going to have like red, orange, and yellow shingles and blue shingles and green shingles. Okay. Now notice I'm going out of the lines a little bit because I've traced in Sharpie everywhere. That will help that. So I can use quick sticks. I can use Sharpies. There I've got an orange donut. This must mean I've got like um, an orange glaze on my donut. Maybe I want to use um, crayons. Crayons work super well also. There's a crayon. Color sticks work really well. Let me see if, I don't know if I have any color sticks at my desk. Oh, there they are. But I love the way that they look also. Um, because the colors are really light, they show up super well on these bags. They're nice and bright. Construction paper crayons will look super nice. Think about layering color on top of color. So after I've got this, you could use oil pastels as well. After I've got this color stick on here, maybe I could use a, oh, I don't know, a marker and give little, you know, sprinkles. Any kind of marker would work. Um, so I want you to think about that. Then I want you to think about the 3D part. If you want anything on your bag glued on we can glue on beads we can glue on i will show you where the beads are um doors okay you can get uh, paper out of the bins i'll show you that in a second um any 